Well, right now we're going to talk about the 1575E's security features. And uh, basically there's a password methodology that you can either lock out or allow access to certain features of the controller. Okay? So when the controller arrives, it, it's in what we call technician mode, which allows you to program the controller, complete calibrations, uh, change the uh, relay configuration, all those sort of things. Um, if you wanted to put it into view only mode, where the uh, amount of uh, things the operator can do is limited, I'll show you how to do that. Uh, basically, you can see that the controller's got a number of setups in it. Pushing the arrow key allows you to view those. So if I was to hit clear, now, to go into to, uh, view only mode, there's a hidden menu. There, you see one through seven here, but if you press zero, that takes you into the mode that lets you see that you get an operator mode. You want to go to operator mode, you say yes, and it says make sure you know the code. Now, we're in view only mode. View only mode, watch what happens now when I press the clear button. Nothing. I can use the paging arrows to see how the controller is set up currently, what the de time and date is, how things are running, but I can now no longer access, by pressing the clear button, the actual menu. I can, however, manually operate five minutes at a time the relays. All right? Okay, so you walk up to a controller, you press the clear button because you need to do something to it, and nothing occurs. Well, what do you do? Well, the default password from the factory to get out of view only mode, and this is in the manual, is pressing the two four times. One, two, three, four. Now you're in technician mode again. And in technician mode, I can once again press the clear button from there, and I get to the main menu. All right? Those are the two, or that's the method to get into the factory default. However, Sometimes, someone may want to change the factory default password. We go down to System Setup, go to Security, type in the old password, 2222. Two, two. Type in a new password, 1, 2, 3, 4. Type it again, 1, 2, 3, 4. And it's saved. Okay. So, how would I set it then? I go back to my main menu, and I get, once again hit zero to see the, the uh, hidden screen. It says, do you want to go into technician mode? I say yes, or view only mode rather. Now we're in view only mode. So the same thing occurs, I hit the clear button, I can't access the menu. Now let's say an intrepid operator did this while you weren't around, but you do need to access the controller. He hasn't written the password down, or you've forgotten the password you entered into there. We do have a safety catch, and that's a little procedure you do by dialing information. One, four, one, one. A word will appear. It's a nonsensical word. It may be an element. It may be a made-up element. Uh, it's just a word will appear. Call the factory. Identify yourself. Give us the serial number of the controller and uh, who you are, we will go ahead and give you a one-time, one-shot password that allows you to get back into the controller.